So I decided to transfer to Illinois State University for their reputation in teaching. About one in seven teachers in the state of Illinois is a Redbird, and so I wanted to be one. Every major at ISU has a transfer plan of study to follow, and I used mine and brought it into my academic advisor at my community college, and we worked together to make sure I was taking the right classes. Cost was definitely a big concern for me, and I was used to filing FAFSA, so I filed right at my community college, and then I researched scholarships at ISU and found out that there were a couple of categories for transfer students. ISU has a transfer student visit every Friday at 11, and that includes a presentation as well as a tour of campus just for transfer students. I would definitely tell transfer students to visit campus. As soon as I stepped foot on campus, I knew that this would make a great home for me. So my first year at ISU, I actually lived a little bit farther from campus and I drove every day. But once I realized how many resources were on campus and how much there was to do, I decided to move closer so that I could be more involved. ISU made the apartment search process really easy and really seamless. There's actually an off-campus housing database and you can set your search criteria. So you can put in what you want to pay per month, how many roommates you want, how close to campus you want to live. So that's a really great search tool. My first few weeks at ISU went so smoothly. I never felt out of place, and one of the great things about ISU is how small the campus is. Everything's really compact, and I was able to find my classes so easily. I would want other students to know that ISU is gonna become your home. It's gonna be really hard to leave, but I would want them to know that ISU is going to prepare them for whatever their next chapter is in life.